86, that's white, fresh out of the junkyard. And there goes the timing belt. Following my little friggin' disaster here. Uh, I I never seen the camshaft do that. I've seen timing belts go on these diesels before. But it's usually like pistons, valve, cylinder heads get destroyed. Not the friggin' cam. And not in five pieces. Never seen that. But uh, I'm going to tear the head off and see what's left of it you know and one of the first steps is this thing on these uh, uh mark ones and mark two like the rabbit and the golf the diesels anyhow they got these kind of spring clamp deals holding the the downpipe to the exhaust manifold and you need a uh you know you need a it, it's it's really nice to have a tool to get them off. Uh, you can get one from Parts Place. I just kind of crapped one together, and it's it's a pain in the ass, but it does do the job. Uh, getting them back on, you 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 want the tool. There's just I if if you can get that back on without the tool, you're some kind of freaking magic or something. Down here, one of them. At least with the tool I made, uh, you go from the top, and then the other one you go from underneath. And uh, I'll I'll get it like hooked up on there, and I could probably record doing this one, but the bottom one is a pain in the ass, so I ain't gonna do that. There's a tool hooked up in place, hooked on the little clamp thinger, and. Uh, it's it's this tool is a colossal pain in the ass. It does the job, but I would suggest you make something better, or you know go to Parts Place Incorporated and just get the proper one. But now that it's hooked on there, we're just gonna run this nut down, and that'll spread that spring apart, <clears throat> and you know. Any luck, undo the clamp. The, uh, the little hook end on my tool kind of snapped while I was going, but I was able to just hook these two ends in there and pull the clamp off. Hopefully I can do that again. But with one off, now I can at least get in there with a heck of a pry bar or something and get the other side off. The other one, with the one off, on the driver's side once you go to this one there ain't hardly so much tension on this so it's a little easier to get it off so you know once you get one the other one goes easier gonna mark a couple of wires oh, i got those two marked i'm gonna pull off got those two marked I'm gonna pull off fuel lines and such from the injector pump uh valve covers already loose just the nuts are on there kind of you now so i don't lose them and uh let me think oh that this heater hose right here goes to the head and um looks like this alternator bracket too nothing big i'll catch up when i got something going on
All right, here we go. We're going to look for big smash marks on the tops of the pistons. That's fine. Uh -huh. Maybe we could just whack another head onto this engine. Oh, there's a little bit of a little bit of play on these guys. Not tall. Mm -hmm. One and four look just got dang fine. Uh, yeah, number three took a little whack. I am not scared of that. In there. I mean, I'm not in here with a dial indicator or nothing, but you know, they are visually still coming up to the top dead center where they ought to come up. Number three took a little punch, but it didn't, uh, I'll just say, uh, it doesn't appear friggin' destroyed. Come on, just a hair above the deck. So I don't. Well, actually, this little kind of shiny spot and this little kind of shiny spot. They might have. Those two might have took a hit. From uh, let me see, where would that be? I can't. Oh, the head ain't on there, so I can't remember intake or exhaust. But those two probably took a hit. I don't think I'm scared of them. Like it just kissed them. Just kissed them. I don't think I've been in any rods or anything. Like, I think the bottom end is probably still okay. Now, well, yeah, there's a shiny spot. There's a shiny spot. Maybe those are where the intake valves were laying. Or the, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's where com the combustion wants to happen. I'm not exactly sure, but. Uh. I mean, this, this engine's going to be coming out and getting tore down anyhow. And even if I had it running, you know, and if, if it fired up and sounded great, it'd be coming out and getting tore down. And, you know, all the gaskets and the good stuff, this and that, it'd be getting all that. But I think my bottom end is okay. So I probably have another cylinder head that I could actually bolt onto here and and everything would be hunky dory, you know. So I, I think it's not as bad as it could have been. Like I've seen them bad. Like uh you know when a timing belt goes when you're going down the road, of course the wheels are going to keep trying to run the crankshaft and it's just going to be beating the living hell out of the pistons and the valves and the cylinder head and all all the uh, involved bits and pieces and it's it gets really bad this one ran very briefly before whatever happened happened so i think this bottom end is okay i believe i got a good short block here and uh the end, I got two engines, you know, not running, probably. I got the original engine that came with our driver, and that's pretty well complete. It has the head on it. I didn't really look it over, but uh, the kid said it lost compression. I'm thinking the timing either jumped or lost the belt completely, and, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to see what happened there, and if the cam and the head themselves are at least good and it's almost looking like I can take the valves 
you know, if that other engine has bent valves or something, it's looking so far like I might be able to take the valves out of this cylinder head, which we're going to look at now. And, uh, you know, hopefully I got enough crap to Frankenstein an engine together. Because, oh no, you can't use this and that from another... Yes, you can. It'll be fine. Once you hone those cylinders, those pistons... You know, you hone the cylinders, you put new rings. The pistons don't care which holes they're going in. As long as, they're, as long as everything's in spec. Uh, you know, valves from one engine to another. You lap them in, you're fine. You're fine. As long as everything's in spec. Okay. Let's just examine the specimen. All right. And this is a three hole or three notch cylinder head gasket. Buck, buck! Hey, buddy. Ah, uh, he's out driving his train. Yep. <laughs> Hi, on cocaine. That uh, that cart. Yo, guys, that cart, that chain, those go wherever they belong. Yeah, yeah, so am I, though. You know, so don't be putting stuff where I'm going to trip over it. Hmm. I don't know if that's a stock friggin' head gasket or what. Oh, uh, let's see. You know, it's hard to tell if you got bent valves without actually taking them out. But, you know, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like the valves suffered a tremendous amount of uh, trauma. You know what I mean? Just looking at them. But, but that's pretty much bullshit. You'd have to really take them out and, you know, chuck them in the lathe or some other sort of device where you can actually check out straightness. But, uh, this could have been worse. I'm at least convinced that my block pistons and bottom end and stuff are probably okay. So, could have been worse. All right, uh, I guess that'll be it for now, and I'll, I'll keep you posted. Later.